Why in the Jubilee? Middle ground is a social experiment that brings humans with opposing beliefs together. Oh my, to oh my God. Should moms stay at home? Yeah, you know who should go? Jason. Each participant, and as always, we encourage empathy. <laughs> Two stuck. years, Bobo. Why is it it's pixelized? There was a study Thanks that showed like being a mother is two and a half full time jobs. Like we have to have grace with ourselves. We have to, otherwise, how will we get through? Mm -hmm. Step forward if you agree with the prompt. I envy the other side. What is the other side then? I got pregnant really young. I had my first baby at 19. I've never known a life as an adult without being a, a single working mom. Have I always wanted the opportunity to stay home? A hundred percent. Oh my gosh, like that would be a dream come true. My mom um, has always been a stay at home mom and her marriage ended and she had nothing to fall back on. Uh, so I always grew up um, saying, you know, I'm not going to be a stay-at-home mom. You know, I'm going <laughs> to go to work. Me currently now, I just had my first son not too long ago. I wanted to go back to work. Um, my boyfriend, he, he works in a corporate world, so he's able to take care of everything. And he told me, you need to stay at home. And I'm just like, what? I was working while, while I was pregnant. Um, with Wait, then don't? I let them know, you know, like, hey, uh, so you guys are going to have me back, right? And then I hit them up like a uh, couple of months after I have my first. And they're like, we've replaced you with somebody else. And I was like, oh, dope. All right. <laughs> um, we never really decided I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. It just kind of happened that way. I'm Doris, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I've lost a lot of friends to motherhood. As soon as I had the baby, like people drop like flies. Like everyone was at the baby shower, everyone was at the wedding, everyone was at this and that. And as soon as the baby came, boop, they just dipped on it out of there. And can we have the disagreeers step forward? Okay. I was working when I was pregnant a year ago and I let my partner know I don't want to go back to work. I want to bond with my child. Like, I want to be able to breastfeed. And then I did go back to work, but I just couldn't do it. I'd rather deal with my baby yelling at me, throwing stuff at me than the customer, you know? So I was just like, I can. I left the job now. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just not going to come back. I would have to say I'm very fortunate in the aspect of that I have a flexible schedule. As long as I work 40 hours a week, you know, that's good. So mm -hmm. I don't have to miss, you know, if my daughter has a presentation or it's bring your mom for gingerbread house making for Christmas, you know. I find so much joy, and again, I'm very fortunate to be passionate about my work and love it, um, that it doesn't seem like work at times. And I, I can come home when needed. My name's Megan, and I'm a working mom. Okay, As a cool working man. mom, I take care of my mental health by going to therapy. I take breaks when I can by walking my corgi. I love the outdoors. And um, just listening to my body when I, when I need a break. Children need a mother more than a father. Uh-oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Of course, it's always nice for kids to have both parents, and I'm sure there's wonderful families with, uh, you know, single parents or maybe a single uh -oh. father. But um, at least in those early years, I was more intuitively connected with my children. I was, bre I breastfed for four consecutive years, which obviously a father cannot do. And um, that was a big part of the connection that I had uh -huh. with my children. And there's just something so fundamental about being a mom and the connection that you have with the child that uh, is irre irreplaceable. So. Okay, okay, two things. I don't think anybody asked uh, for to do that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think the, the the baby asked for four years of of uh, you know, uh, Jason, and and and, and say, it's saying that because you're doing it and and you know, you don't have to, but you're still doing it, and saying that the dad can't do it is 
It's just kind of dumb. It's, just, it's a dumb take. Dumb. Dumb as fuck take. It's very important for the father to bond with the baby as well, not just the mother, you know? My mom was married to um, her husband, which is not my father. Um, but uh, growing up, I longed for my father a lot. Okay. Well, I, really oh, I'm the dad. I'm going to come on this show and say, well, 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 I, I lifted the child like this all day because I had big muscles for seven years. And um, only I could have done that. So, psh, huh. Father more important. important to have both huh? sides. Even though I had a stepfather there, it's like, in a way, it's not really the same because I, I yearned for the connection. Yeah, I'd have to um, agree with that. I lost my husband when I was pregnant with our second child um, to suicide. She'll just see photos of like her father. She'll never have a connection with him. Um, and that, that kills me. Men are just as important. Um, and also, you know, there's, you know, gay parents, we have caretakers, you know, it doesn't matter the sex, that person needs to be in the child's life. Yeah. I was divorced when my oldest had just turned three and my youngest was seven months old. And, you know, my husband decided that he wanted to leave. And that was extremely hard and extremely tough. But I was so determined to keep a cordial relationship with their dad. They go see him like one evening a week. I, I, I didn't laugh. It's My parents were exactly the same. They divorced when I was like the same age. Like, I guess not even one year old. My, my brother was three. Very important same for the girls to see that even though relationships don't work, and even if you do end up becoming a single mom, that you can still have a cordial and a good relationship with the person this, that's going to be in your life forever. Question. Yeah. The arrangement that you have with... Um, your ex, is that because he can only do one day a week? He could do more. Oh, okay. Um, I've picked my battles. At one point in, t one in time, you're going to look back and you're going to realize some of the things you've missed out on. And unfortunately, that's, that's going to be on you. Yeah, yeah. You know? I can't make that up. I'm Kayla, and I am a working mom. I do feel a lot of pride in the fact that I can raise my children while still providing fully for them by being a working mom. But it doesn't ever take away the guilt that I feel One about having evening. to leave them to go to work. It will continue to be an ongoing struggle that I have Chat. to deal with. I know this seems kind of weird to say. I think this is kind of unfair because I feel like the dad can have a whole week of thinking. How exciting can you make the night on that evening for the kid? And the kid only has great memories with his dad. And the mom gets all the shit all the fucking go to bed. I'm taking your Game Boy away. You're going to you're going to fucking detention or whatever. That's it. The, 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 like it's only the good juice. Slowly making peace with it. I am providing a good example of motherhood to my child. It's me who pays the bills. It's me who, you know, got the house for us. I take pride in that and also my work. You know, I work in social services and um, I love coming home and telling my children what I saw because it's all real life and telling them to be grateful for what they had. And yes, we've been through, um, you know, loss in our family. Being a widow um, at the age of 22, I'm 25 now, um, I didn't want others taking care of me. <laughs> and I know that's not what my husband would want. And I'm, again, proud of my work. So I was just saying chat. Something something saying chat. You should be proud. Yeah, yeah you should yeah. be. I think I'm conflicted about this one because I was raised by a stay-at-home mom. So I want to give them the stay-at-home mom. Guys, I was in chat so he said, thanks to the trauma, like what the fuck? I, I can agree with that. Without compromising on my career path. But there's a cost to everything. And one of the costs is I'm always stressed out. Am I... Uh, setting a good precedent by trying to do it all or should I scale it back or is scaling back showing them that um, you have to scale back when you're a mother so it's uh, there's a lot of internal conflicts so I don't know if I have a good yes or no answer but okay interesting what are they gonna say I haven't been able to successfully get that balance back? between work and my life at home and I feel so bad because like you said i feel like i take it out on her mm -hmm. and i love her so much and i i just don't want her to 
feel like I think I'm upset with her. Oh, those things have no reason. And I know it's not her, but I'm working towards it. But I'm I'm really hoping that I can do that for her one day. And even just being open at an age appropriate level, because I think everybody feels the guilt of losing their patience with their kids. Mom's human, and and saying sorry. She knows you love her. There was a study that showed like in. Um, being a mother is two and a half full-time jobs. So, like, we have to have grace with ourselves. We have to, otherwise, how will we get through? Two and a half full-time jobs? I am working jobs? toward my dream life. Uh, everybody is, I think. Um, well, me and my fiance, uh, we both work full-time. We're both trying. This question is kind of lame. I think, I think everybody is in their own way. And to help each other move forward in our career so that we can have enough money so that I can stay at home and be um, a stay at home mom with my daughter. I actually started working a, a housekeeping job when my Even if you don't think you old. are, you're kind of building something you don't know you're building. Even if it's kind of in a bad way type of thing, I feel like it's still part of the journey and the equation and it's still meaningful. If you can do better, go ahead and do better. But in a hospital. Every and part I've worked matters. my way up over the past nine years. I feel very accomplished, but I've never wanted to work in a hospital. <laughs> like, I, that was never something I wanted to do. I was about to go to like an acting observatory, and then I found out I was pregnant a month later. And I'm really lucky. My two my two girls are also obsessed with theater, and so as long as you know, as long as they still are into it, that's something that we kind of have as a dream together, which is like really fun. Yeah, so bitch. Working no shit. That's a fucking millionaire take. You fucking moron. Okay. I, I dropped out of school and I was this dumb fuck playing Overwatch all day, okay? But uh, on this trash ass chair, I, I'm playing on fucking 12 FPS. And you know, I didn't know it yet, but I was building, building a career as a professional player. And then I became a millionaire playing fucking video games. Moron. So yeah, there's a millionaire take. Sorry, man. It's a multi millionaire take. Millionaire! Fucking, fucking moron. Fuck you. This job, even though it's not what ever, never what I expected yeah. of myself, it's still giving Shit, me. Shit, on this guy. A springboard to be able to chat, pursue just, what this is one guy, I'm more passionate about. This is one guy, so chat. I'm doing school online and taking care of our seven-month-old son while my boyfriend is away and he comes home. He, in a way, is like when I tell him like my dreams is to become a, a you know a college professor and I'm a I'm a history major and I want to get my PhD and he goes, you could do uh, go to school and you think you can go to work? I said yes, I can. I can do whatever like I set my mind to. I always wanted to. To work and show my son or show even my little sisters like even though I'm a stay-at-home mom I'm still doing what it takes to achieve my dream. My name is Aaliyah and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Do I miss life before motherhood? It's not, it's not. Um, it's just because I can't give you a committed answer. It's complex because uh, I did feel said a you know, major that there was something Lola. missing before motherhood. I feel like uh, it made me more clear-minded of who is around me because I feel like before maybe it was foggy, didn't know my real friends, my real family support system. I just feel like being a mom now helps me understand who's on my team and who is not on my team. I was affected by postpartum depression. Okay, I don't know that, I, I, I know that is. With my oldest daughter, people always talk about like, once you see your baby. Oh, okay. She's wanted to be a mom. For me, um, many years ago, almost five years ago, I think, um, I was pregnant at first um, with someone when um, I okay. knew that I was. Chat, don't be rude. Um, Some people in chat, man. He wasn't happy with it. A lot of people <laughs> weren't happy with it and telling me, you know, you need to get an abortion. You need to get an abortion. Giving me a phone. To I call saw. Parenthood. Did you see that? And when I oh went to Planned my God. she asked me from one to ten, how badly do I want this appointment? I told her, I don't want this appointment at all. Wow, did scared. you guys see that guy sitting in that chat? <laughs> so I went through it and I was traumatized. That I felt like a choice right. was taken away from me. <laughs> so years later, when I was pregnant with my son, Jaden, it was a, a no-brainer choice for me. I love my son. I love my heaven. 
baby. And, um... Ho ho, the I'm GI happy. hack and lube having shit so, takes okay. on fantastic artists like Bruno Mars. I also lube when the Jewisher puts uh, okay. his I'm nose up my ass. I'm done with it, I'm done with it. Okay, next. 